welcome back to the Spiffy Little Geeks playing Digimon World Dusk. After getting after after going over Chip Forest and Thriller Ruins a bit, let's finally go to Sunken Tunnel and actually go save our idiot friends. Starting with uh, Barone here, who didn't get very far because Ponch and Guts just completely ditched her. Uh, um, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Couple of dickwads. Yeah. Oh well. So she's gonna head back, and then we're, 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 we'll explore the rest of Sunken Tunnel uh, to find Ponch and Guts. So Sunken Tunnel does have a weird gimmick. It's it's actually one of the the only dungeons actually in the entire game that does have a gimmick. Um, your progress will be hindered if you try going on, along the straight path because there are valves that need to get turned off in order to in order to like you see down there, and you need to turn off these valves in order to reduce the gushing water so that way you can progress. Uh, and this, is, uh, this is really the only dungeon in the entire game that do, that does something like this. Most of them are pretty straightforward, aside <coughs> from that, aside, aside from being maze lager anyway. Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you. In which case, that was Kapurimon. We killed him. It's an entraining machine, Digimon. Yes. Yay, <laughs> Yay yes. more Digimon casualties. Yeah. yeah, so pretty much, uh, so, basically, bottom line, this dungeon's actually, you know, a dungeon. Kind of. Anyway, this is Betamon, a rookie-level Aquan Digimon. Uh, this is actually, a, Betamon's kind of an example of, of how this game kind of changed around a lot of the Digimon sh Digivolution trees. Uh, for those who've seen at least, at least season two of Digimon, of the, of the Digimon TV show, you'll know that Digi that Betamon is, is the rookie form of champion-level Seedramon. That's not the case in this game. In this game, Betamon has, has, a, completely, has a completely different uh, uh, Digivolution tree. Instead, Snow Agumon digivolves, digivolves into Seedramon. No, oh, come on. okay. So we went from a bit a fish to uh, an agumon. Yes. What? Snow agumon. It's it's a white agumon, effectively. Like... I don't know. Okay, I should. I know I should not be questioning how evolution works in fucking Digimon, but ah, uh, goddamn it, I just can't help myself. Well, what the fuck? Yes, yeah, especially uh... not in Digimon, since n none of them are organic. So it, it, it's one of those things where it's like because of the concept. It's it's very it's very easy to kind of just let it go. <laughs> yeah, I know, but still, it's just like really. But trust me, in, in later Digimon games, it does get a it does get a lot more. Uh, how should I say, uh, um, insane. <laughs> you'll you'll see in the next Digimon game that we let's play. Okay. Which speaking of which, its sequel comes out in le in less than two weeks, and I'm getting very fucking excited for it. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. So yeah, for the first part of the dungeon, it is only just Kapurimon and Betamon. The farther we get in, though, we will find um, uh, a lot more Digimon. Though it is mostly machine Digimon. The farther we get in, I think it's actually up to this point now where we start finding more Digimon. Got another gate disc. Those are always good to have. Here we go. Kodemon. You may remember him. And Hagoruman. Yep, I remember them. Yep, uh, yes. two machine level rookie Digimon. We Kodemon, Kodemon was the rookie was one of the rookies that was in our main party of Digimon DS. Press X two, if I recall his name being. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. And then Hagoruman is actually um Hagoruman actually gains a little bit more substance in later games. He actually becomes a starter in one game. Really? Yeah. Huh. All right, hey, I can get behind that. <laughs> Though we have Solarmon, so we we don't we don't, we don't need no Hagurumon. No, no. Solar is better. Oh, debatable. Oh, pfft. it really does just depend on you know what you prefer their uh, what what you prefer their evolution chains to be. Solar, oh, Solar's more shiny though. Yeah. Now toy black toy Agumon. Interestingly enough, uh, Black Toy Agumon, uh, its mega form is now the is now Ghoulmon. As you may recall, Ghoulmon was one of the megas we used in the main party of the last game, but its rookie in that game was Gatsumon. Huh. Okay. Yet another example of how how the Digivolution chains uh, uh, chains have kind of been mess messed around a little bit. They've been completely butt fucked. That's what. Not totally. Like the, like the most. 
the the most I guess I guess um what's the word I'm looking for? The most recognizable ones are still the same. Like obviously Agumon's still gonna become Greymon. <laughs> like that's that's a given. Right. Like, you know, Beomon still becomes Bergamon, Terriamon still becomes Gargomon, all that stuff. It's mostly the Digimon that don't really have like defined recognizable chains that get changed around. So like basically Digimon with no anime counterparts. Kind of, yeah, for the most part. Like, there are some that still get, you know, messed around a little bit. But, nonetheless, they st- you know, it still works out the way you want them to, for kind of. But don't even get me started on when we start when we start DNA digivolving, because then shit's going to get really crazy. Okay. You know, I will I will say this um, in regards to turning all of the valves here. I'm actually really glad that they added that attention to detail where... Um, just so that you can tell which valves have already been closed, there was that red light that turns on whenever you do close one of the valves. Oh, yeah. Ju- yeah, just so that y- it's it's easy for you to tell, and you and you won't lose track on, like, which valves you've turned and which ones you have left alone thus far. I would... Because I, cause, cause I, fe- I feel like if I was in this position, I feel like I would lose my lose track on which valves I've closed. Well that's, a, that well, that's a, well, that's the thing. That should be, like, a pretty set standard in a lot of RPGs. And yet you'd be, you'd be quite surprised how many games where it's, like, you're running around in circles because there's no clear indication that, like, oh, you've already done this. Right. Actually, I'm trying to recall. It's, like, didn't we run into a similar um, uh, task of such in the last Digimon game? Yeah, and it was, it was also a sewer level, too. So, I mean... <laughs> Right, but but it's like fucking di- sewer levels. <laughs> you gotta love them. <laughs> but it's like in the last game, it was like didn't they? Yeah, they yeah they did the same. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I, I assume this is a new Digimon that we need to talk yeah, about. Yeah, this, this, this is our end. Of, this is our end of dungeon boss fight. This is Raremon, a champion level Digimon. Uh, it's acting. It, li- it, it's it, it's muck on crack. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> um, if you're if you're if you're playing Dawn version. Also, as you can see, the da- the damage up between b- between Kaguya, Furry Mac, and Wizard, it's clear di- clear difference. Um, but if you're playing what? if you're playing Dawn version, uh, like I said before, you'd be going to Logan Mountain instead of Sunken Tunnel, and in Logan Mountain, you'd be fighting a Quailamon instead of Raremon. A Quailamon oh. being the um, the champion form of Hawkmon. Hmm. Hawkmon. Pokemon evolved. Ooh. <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, and Muck is dead. Oh, don't don't worry, Ryan. We'll be having a lot more fun with that voice later on. Call it a hunch. Oh, oh my God, yes. <laughs> now I'm stoked. Anyway, case. Um, so for for some reason, Raremon was kind of just uh, you know, brainwashed or whatever. Wonder why. Whatever. Uh, but we, we saved Ponch and Guts, you know, Ponch is all grateful, but Guts is sitting here all like, we got him taking the thing all over all our own, even though, like, a few moments before we got there, he was ready to beg for mercy. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. One of, he's one of those yeah. assholes. Yeah, yeah, go and try to act tough. We all know that in reality, you're nothing more than a whip. Yeah, he's one of those kids. Yeah, he's one of those assholes. Also, also, also you dish Barone, so, uh, that's another red flag, I'm just saying. That's all right, Ponch. Sure, you- you jerks. That's all right. Ponch is grateful. That's all we care about. Ponch is cool. In which case, so Gummymon can become Terriermon, uh, Tapermon, or Renamon. But of course, we're going to be, we're turning him into Terriermon. Gotta have our little bunny. Yep. Heck yeah. And Terriermon definitely be getting a lot more popularity as of late, I noticed. But um, but he, even though I really like Terriermon, he's not going to be in the main party. But he will be used for something else. Oh, but oh not, okay. Not for a long, long time, that is. Because right. It, it, it becomes a bunny with machine guns for hands. It's like, yes. what, is, what is there not to like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Are you kidding? When I first saw that Digimon in the Digimon movie or whatever, I'm just like, oh my god, I want a toy of that Digimon. It's so freaking cool. I remember I was so heartbroken when I was a little kid, because I remember Dairy Queen used to sell Digimon plushes alongside the Digi- when, the, when that Digimon movie came out, and I really no. wanted the ter- I really wanted the Terrier Mom, but I couldn't get it. Oh my god. I, I ended up getting Gatomon instead, but still. 
That that actually sounds really legit. <laughs> God, you want to talk about how out of touch I am with that? I didn't even know Dairy Queen had like their own versions of like Happy Meals and shit. Like, I I didn't know that they did like you know. I don't even. Plugins. I'm not even sure if they do if they do it anymore. I think that may have. I, I'm not I don't even, think. I, I'm, I'm, I don't. I mean, like an yeah, early thing. They, yeah, I, yeah, I, it, it had to have been. Thing. It had to have been, because, you know, I mean, I go to Dairy Queen every now and again, like, and even then, it's just to get a blizzard. I never go there to get, like, you know... Yeah. lived there really weren't a lot of Dairy Queens by my house like the, the closest one was maybe like 20 minutes away so it was like well it's either we drive to 20 minutes to Dairy Queen or we go to like you know one of these little ice cream shops and everything that's closer to the house and that was where we were going to get our ice cream yeah uh, yeah, it's like the only big thing I remember in regards to Dairy Queen was when they had this massive like ad campaign for their, their new uh, thing of ice cream called the Brownie Earthquake and I just, Brownie <laughs> Earthquake. I, I just loved their commercials they did for it. It's like, you can't hide, but you can run to the Brownie Earthquake. So meet me at DQ. That also Ooh, said, okay. you know, for one thing, like those Digimon plushes that Dairy Queen gave away were the only, was, that was the only time I remember them actually even giving away plushes. But you want to, you, you want to talk about even more obscure restaurants giving away, giving away toys. I remember when K when KFC was giving away Pokemon plushes, like as for, like for Zubat, Vulpix. It was like four very specific ones. I forget what they all were, but I know Zubat and Vulpix were two of them. It was like back when Pokemon was first starting out. K I, this, wait, KFC. What this yeah, happen? that one I really don't remember. Yeah, they did yeah. that. Like, and and they weren't like cheap quality toys. They they were like legit plushes too. Oh my god. I think wow. I still have them too. Like some, laying around somewhere in like this giant tote that my family has full of plushes. <laughs> Wait. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Never like, mind. yeah, don't, don't go don't go for the Leomon. <laughs> we all know what happens to Leomons. Yeah, but that said, as you can see with the portrait on the Wait. side, with me up Digivolving Galmon, unfortunately, just like the last game, Furry Mac is not gonna be in the final party. Oh. Oh, okay. And the reason why you don't see a picture of Galgamon there was because, quite frankly, I am too lazy to draw to, to draw Gal Galgamon. <laughs> oh. Unprofessional. I, I already I already have like twenty other Digimon I have to draw. Yokai is one thing. Those are all simple designs. Digimon gets fucking insane. Fuck that. <laughs> the less I have to draw, the better. Well, then what would ha well then what would happen if you were if you. Would, if you were to digivolve um, a Magmon or whatever, it's a Leomon. Would, would you be able to draw a Leomon? Nah, I'm not. Well, it's not going to be in the final party. But speaking of which, what you see right now is my Dawn account. What I'm currently doing here is Digimon matching. If you have two, se if you have two separate sist, if you have two separate systems, like this is obviously something you can. This this is something back when when online was a thing. You could have you know. Randomly in with random people that were also matching at the same time, but obviously that's not a thing anymore. Luckily, I have I have both versions of the game, so I can I can do this between my two DSs. Digimon matching ah. is exactly what it sounds like. You take two Digimon, and they create a Digi Egg. Um, the di what type of Digi Egg that comes out depend obviously depends on the Digimon. So, like if you have two Dragon type Digimon, they'll create a Red Digi Egg, which will hatch a which, which will t generally hatch a dra a, a, a Dragon di a, a Dragon Digimon. Um, what comes out of the Digi Egg is not only dependent on the type, but also the level, their stats, and other and, and, and other various things. Like this is the Fever Spot Egg. You can only get this if both Digimon that are if both Digimon that are that are that are matching together are both of, are both level fifteen or higher. Well, specifically for the Fever Spot, dra you need two Dragon type Digimon that are both level fifteen or higher. Whereas if you, did you if you if you pair up any two Digimon together that are, that, are, that are not level 15 or higher, they'll make a pure a pure egg. Like in this case, this is the Cloud Spot egg. This is because the Hawkmon and Dot Falcomon that I had there both happen to be level 15. Oh. All in right. which case, I can get Devimon if I want to, but nah. You're gonna, you're gonna revert it back to Pagumon. Yep. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Because as cool as the as the Devi line as the Devimon line is, I rather the other line. <laughs> yeah, as much as I want to digivolve my Digimon into the devil, I think I'd rather refer it to his more cuter state. That also said, so in terms of hatching Digi eggs, you need to leave them in your farm and let them gain experience from the farm over time. And once you do, they hatch they will hatch. And to new Digimon, meet our fourth permanent party me party member, Gigimon. Gigi. Who who is the returning Pepper? Oh. Well, all right then. Because right. I'm sure, as I'm sure you can guess, this is this is actually Gilmon's in training form. Oh. And the next new permanent party member, Hawkmon. Hey. This is Feather. Okay. And with that said, the final permanent party member of our team. Uh Muchomon. Muchomon. Muchomon honestly is one of the is is the Digimon where if Digimon were real, I think I would want Muchomon <laughs> to be my to, to be my party like to be my partner, probably. <laughs> also Trop? <laughs> yep, his name is Trop. I think that I was like that. I think that was the case where I couldn't think of anything else. Oh, <laughs> oh well. Uh, nah, well it's, uh, but uh, yep, these it. six Digimon, these are our this is the final team. Part three what? of the Let's Play, and we already have our final team. Wow. Okay, then. Wow, what a very adorable lineup. Thank, yep, thanks. I'm gonna beat you with my army of babies. Yep, so th th thanks. <laughs> Thanks to our, th th thanks to thanks to Digimon matching, I pretty much cheated the game <laughs> and, got, <laughs> and got my final party so early. You cheater! How dare you? In which case, so something else regarding quests. Uh, this is actually some, uh, 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 well, actually, yeah, I probably should go ahead and mention this now. Uh, here in the Digi Center, we, we can take on quests. You know. Uh, taking quests obviously will get will gain will gain you money, experience points, as well as ta as well as tamer points. Uh, tamer points are something you use um, to, to pretty much to pretty much gain prizes. Like the more the more the more points you have, uh, the more prizes you get. Uh, specifically okay. from uh, Dark Dramon back at the arena. Uh, something else that tamer that tamer quests do though. Um, whenever you finish, a t if there's ever a tamer quest that involves you having to go find or beat up a Digimon in a certain area. Once you finish the quest, that Digimon will now permanently be in that area. So if, if there's a certain Digimon you're looking for that you want to get early, if you do their quest and then finish it and then go back to the area, you'll be able to you'll be able to find it. So with that last quest that we did, that was Sukaimon. Uh, after meeting that quest, Sukaimon now appears in Thriller Ruins. Okay. In which case, we're now in Login Mountain. This is the area that we would have that we would have been that we would have had to go to if, uh, for our first mission if you were playing Dawn. And as you saw, that was Tokomon to start off with. And the, and uh, this area has a bunch of familiar Digimon. Aside from Tokomon, there's also Monodramon and Patamon. Hey, Patamon! Monodramon, I, I believe, is actually the uh, the, the true. It's it's it, it's actually it's funny. We were talking about how 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 messed up they kind of, well not really messed up, but how 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 jank they made the um they made the Digivolution lines, but they did kind of fix some of them here. Like Monodramon was not in Digimon World DS, but Cyberdramon was. As such, Cyberdramon ended up being the ultimate form for Gatsumon, as as uh, as you guys may remember if you watched our Digimon DS playthrough. However, Monodramon is actually the true rookie version of Cyberdramon, and this and that is what he and that is what he becomes in this game. Hmm. I also still love how Togumon has like these really sharp teeth. <laughs> it's like it's like Togumon stop singing opera to me. It's, it's creeping me out, man. <laughs> It probably sings opera like how Bentley does in uh, Sly 3. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the ultimate Digimon battle. Anyway, because I, I do, if I recall, the reason why we're here is because the Armadillomon that we, that, uh, that we, for the quest that we took asked us to come here to find some ingredients so that we can make shoes. 
There is the first, the paint oil. And I forget what the other ingredient was. Not really that big a deal. Just go around and find it. Bring it back to him, and then you're set. So wait, so wait, just a quick reminder. Um, what exactly does Armadillomon need the paint oil for? Uh, to make shoes, I believe. Bark. That, that was ah. the other thing. Uh, ah. Also, I don't think I'll really be getting a chance to show this off. But um, other Digimon that can show up that can show up in Logan Mountain. You, you can also find Armadillomon here. You can find Hawkmon. You can find Vimon, and I believe you can also find Gatsumon. Oh, oh, red shoes. Oh, okay. Yes, red shoes. Good choice of color. He's a secret from, fan of Wizard of Oz. Yeah, from paint oil <laughs> and from paint oil and a couple of sticks. <laughs> sure, why not? I mean. I, I mean, it's technically bark, but, you know, bark comes from a tree. Yes. And this little guy here uh, says he he lost his uh, his pillow. So we gotta Iron come here. pillow. Yep, and we gotta come here and get it from this guy. Gizamon. Who found the pillow, but doesn't want to give it back. So we gotta, fuck, we gotta beat him up for it. And as such, once you beat this Gizamon and then complete the quest, Gizamon will now show up in Sunken Tunnel. I don't really know much about Gizamon. He's a, he's a rookie level, Aquin, but I've never really seen much of him. He's kind of just one of those more obscure ones. Like obscure as in he rarely shows up, or...? Pretty much. Like, I, I don't even recall him from the anime at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In regards to the anime, I, yeah, I don't recall seeing him all that much either. Like, I, I don't even, I don't even remember, remember what this guy digivolves into, to be honest. Like, I think he was in the last game, but, like I said, I think. I don't actually remember. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, understandable. Like, he, he has a nifty little design. I mean, he's a furry-looking amphibian with webbed feet. Spike on oh, his back. Uh, he, he looks no, cool enough. He, he looks like a Digimon, but... Oh, yeah, I agree. He just, just, he just doesn't get a whole lot of screen time. So in that of... case, why not, though? Hell, I, I, don't, I don't even think he's in the next game. <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> so he's like the shuckle of the game. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I mean, shuckle shows up in the next games. Yeah, but no one gives a fuck about shuckle. Oh well. That said, uh, something you also may have noticed there: uh, Wizard reached his maximum aptitude at level twenty-five. Oh. So we have time. He cannot become Clockma, but he can become uh, Bomber Nanimon. I assume from your tone there, you're not a fan of this Digimon here? No. I... But I need him to become this in order to become Clockmon. Oh. He's a bum. Well, with, with red shades. So He's like trying to be the edgier version of Pac-Man, only without a fuse attached to its head. Fucking poser, that's what he is! <laughs> <laughs> in which case we, we will end off the video with this last with, with this one last quest from this Tanamon um, who wants to eat an L mushroom I don't know what the L stands for but I don't, I don't think I want to know uh, it's a simple quest simply go find it and bring it back to her that's it okay so with that said ladies and gentlemen Thank, uh, 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 thank you all for watching. Join us next time as we um, do other Digimon things. <laughs> oh, 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 man, I can't wait! So, but first, I have to also build up my. Uh, you must expand the DPU and get and get more and, and get more music. Uh, music, yeah. I believe, also uh, expands growth rates. That's it. Oh my! See you all then. <laughs>